गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू गनर शॉट वंस अगेन गनर शॉट में आपका स्वागत है आज दोबारा हम मिलिट्री टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑफ दिस सेंचुरी के बारे में बातचीत करेंगे और जैसे हमने पिछली बार ये बारह टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में जिक्र किया था आज हम सिर्फ साइबर सिक्योरिटी के ऊपर नजर डालेंगे और इसके ऊपर फोकस करेंगे और इसको समझेंगे कि क्या साइबर सिक्योरिटी है और आ, किस तरीके से साइबर सिक्योरिटी का जो मेन पॉलिसीज है और कैसे हम आ, खास करके आर्मी नेवी और एयरफोर्स के अंदर इंडक्ट कर सकते हैं राइट एट दिस स्टेज आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट जल नारायणन इज ज्वाइनिंग अस वेलकम राजीव क्या हाल है आपका थैंक यू सर सब बेहतर बहुत बेहतरीन है सर धन्यवाद आपने मुझे प्लेटफॉर्म में शामिल किया सर नहीं नहीं शामिल नहीं नहीं करता तो हमारा लॉस है और श्रोताओं का लॉस है राइट और ये टाइम आ गया हमारे जिंदगी में जब हम अपना एक्सपीरियंस और जो भी ये हमारा एक्सपीरियंस को हम वापस वी कैन प्लॉव इट बैक टू दिसम राइट एंड दैट्स द होल आइडिया एंड लाइक वी डिस्कस लास्ट टाइम we were talking of all the you know technologies uh, in en mass and we had said last time that we'll talk of cyber security correct sir. right so uh, take it on from here chalo baat shuru karo theek hai sir so uh, cyber security abhi jaise we had this huge uh, crisis in aims where a whole lot of data was locked, lost hacking ho gaya tha और कई जगह इसके पहले भी हुए हैं डेटा लॉस बताते हैं इतना डेटा लॉस हो गया है तो ये होता है क्योंकि दे वर नॉट सिक्योर इन देर साइबर डोमेन कोई हैकर उसके अंदर कोई वीक लिंक था जिसके थ्रू उनके नेटवर्क में हैकर अंदर घुस गया और उसको जो डेटा चाहिए था उसने रिट्रीव कर लिया तो, डेटा रिट्रीव ही नहीं मेरे ख्याल में वो पूरा कंप्यूटर जैम अब अंदर गया है तो आपके बाकी डेटा जो चाहिए वो निकाल लेगा बाकी को करप्ट कर देगा और इस तरह का वायरस अंदर डाल देगा कि भाई आपका कंप्यूटर फिर से काम नहीं करेगा आपको दोबारा पूरा मेहनत करके या तो नया सेट लाना पड़ेगा या उसको रीफॉर्मेट करके दोबारा से पूरा सेटअप करना पड़ेगा Correct. जो आपको समय लगता है उसको शॉर्ट आउट करने के लिए समय ही नहीं कष्ट भी होता है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल पैसे लगते हैं आ, पैसे लगते, लगते हैं और आपका पुतना जो सर्विस है डे टू डे सर्विस एम्स जैसे जगह में वो तो टफ हो गया आम आदमी के लिए क्योंकि जो डिजिटली वो सर्विस प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं अगर वो हजार पेशेंट्स मिसाल के तौर पर हजार पेशेंट्स को लेते हैं तो ये सब अब उनको हाथ से लिख के करना पड़ेगा तो मुश्किल से सौ कर पाएंगे सौ कर तो ये अंतर आ जाता है फर्क आ जाता है सिस्टम क्रैश होता है वे बहुत सही बताया आपने सही फरमाया और ये भी हाल ही में हमें सुनने में आया कि ये सोलर ग्रुप में भी ये हैकिंग हुआ हाँ, है हाँ, आ, तो भी इंडिया हाँ, लीड कर रहा है वर्ल्ड को लीड कर रहा है इंटरनेशनल सोलर ग्रुप बना दिया है उस पर इस तरह से अटैक आके उस सिस्टम को करप्ट करके आप जो भी काम कर रहे हैं उसको और डेढ़ दो तीन महीने और डिले करने की चेष्टा रहती है इसमें और आप क्या कर रहे हो वो डेटा निकाल के फिर जिसने हैक करवाया वो अपने देश में यूज करना चाहे और ये बेचा भी जाता है इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द नेट यस जो आपके पर्सनल डेटा है वो ओपन डोमेन में बेचे जाएंगे सोलर ग्रुप को और पूरा सोलर ग्रुप का एक तो फाइनेंशियल लॉस भी है और इन्फॉर्मेशन लॉस है वो जितने रिसर्च कर रहे हैं जो भी काम कर रहे हैं किस तरीके से कर रहे हैं वो सब उनका जो यूएसपी क्या है ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्सप्लोसिव्स एंड एमिनेशन इसमें एक और चीज आता है अगर ये बार बार होता है तो भरोसा टूट जाता है और आप रिसर्च के लिए बुलाते हो तो कोई आएगा नहीं आप आएगा भी नहीं इनफैक्ट मैं ये सोलर ग्रुप में गया हूँ सर्विस के दौरान उनका वर्ल्ड क्लास एच फैक्ट्री है और वो जो आ, आ, एमिनेशन सिस्टम्स लगा रहे हैं पिनाका के लिए और कास आधुनिक हथियारों के लिए वो सब हैक हो गया अभी राइट आई मीन हैक हो गया मेरे को पता नहीं क्या हुआ ही नहीं पर ये सब कतरे में डाल दिया राइट right? 
तो साइबर सिक्योरिटी जो है वो मेरे ख्याल में बहुत यू नो इट्स एक्चुअली वेरी कटिंग एज टेक्नोलॉजी राइट इट कट्स हार्ड मोर देन द कटिंग एज द कटिंग एज इट सेल्फ इज वेरी हार्ड राइट एंड द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस व्हाट आई हैव सीन राजीव एंड एंड आई लाइक ए व्यूज ऑन दिस दिस इज द पोर मैनज वेपन यस कोई भी सीख ले अपना और ज्यादा पैसा खर्च नहीं करना है और अंदर घुस जाता हाँ, है और अगर आपके पास ज्यादा पैसा नहीं है और वेपन uh, सिस्टम्स नहीं है डिफेंस के लिए या ऑफेंस के लिए ये पूर, ये यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर एग्जांपल नॉर्थ कोरिया वी से असिमेट्रिक वॉर एसिमेट्रिक वॉर करेक्ट उसके अंदर ही याद हां एसिमेट्री में साइबर टेक्नोलॉजी and cyber warfare tools give you a huge advantage in asymmetry and i think this is a very very important point you made uh, rajib thank you sir people don't and understand it add sir ki bhai hum to khair civil domain mein ye hota hai wo hack karta hai nikal leta hai system kharab kar leta hai ye karta hai military network mein thoda uska kaam karne ka dhang thoda alag bhi ho sakta hai ki wo chup chap se baithega आपका डाटा लीक करते रहेगा अपने पास और जब लड़ाई लगती है तब सही मौके पे सोचेगा किस जगह पे हमला करके आपके नेटवर्क को डाउन करना है या आप जो उस नेटवर्क के थ्रू ऑर्डर्स पास कर रहे हैं उसको किस तरह से करप्ट कर देना है ताकि नीचे जो डिसीजन लेगा वो गलत डिसीजन ले देगा यही नहीं है अगर वायरस अंदर आ गया तो आपका अगर वेपन सिस्टम को भी इफेक्ट हो गया तो आप गोले से काम नहीं करेगा तो ये चीजें आ जाती हैं जब मिलनेट में हम काम करते हैं मिलिट्री नेट के ऊपर राइट right. तो मैं राइट एट एट दिस स्टेज आई लाइक टू यू नो से व्हाट इज साइबर वॉरफेयर जस्ट टेक अस टू व्यू हां सर साइबर वॉरफेयर कैन बी लाइक आई सेड बोथ काइनेटिक एंड नॉन काइनेटिक काइनेटिक है जब वो हैक करता है आपके सिस्टम को डैमेज कर देता है इंफॉर्मेशन निकाल देता है और खुल के बोलता है जैसे वो रैनसमवेयर वाले बोलते हैं कि अभी हम बेचेंगे आप पैसे दे दो नहीं तो हम बेच देंगे जैसे एम्स में भी उन्होंने ये बोला था नॉन काइनेटिक है जो चुपचाप से जो आपका रिसर्च हो रहा है आप रिसर्च का काम कर रहे हो तो वो चुपचाप से अंदर से आपका जो रिसर्च का है आप क्या कर रहे हो वो चुपचाप से निकाल लेता है जैसे कई लोग कहते हैं कि जो ये अभी लेटेस्ट जे ट्वेंटी बी निकाला है चाइना ने जो उनका स्टेल्थ एयरक्राफ्ट था उसका जो बाहर का स्ट्रक्चर है कॉकपिट और कॉकपिट के पीछे वो किसी तरह से हैक करके वो एफ थर्टी फाइव स्टाइल में दिख रहा है अभी कि वो कह रहे हैं कि ये हैक करके इसने डेटा निकाला है अब आपके पास कोई कंफर्मेशन नहीं है कि उसने किया है बट लेआउट देख के समझ में आ जाता है कि वो बिल्कुल एफ थर्टी फाइव के जैसा बनाया हुआ राइट ओके ये तो, है नॉन काइनेटिक मेथड और काइनेटिक तो हमने देखा हुआ है जो सोलर रूप में हो गया एम्स में हो गया और आपके बीच में ग्रिड को भी कोलैप्स करवा दिया था इलेक्ट्रिकल ग्रिड तो ये चीजें हैं जो काइनेटिक साइबर वॉरफेयर के काइनेटिक डोमेन में आते हैं और इन सब में सबसे जरूरी है किस तरह से आप हैक करके वो मालवेयर अंडर डालते हैं जहां से फिर वो या तो वायरस का काम करेगा या फिर आपका फिशिंग का काम करेगा जहां आप डेटा निकाल ओके सो वी जनरली अंडरस्टूड व्हाट फॉर्म्स साइबर वॉरफेयर कैन टेक प्लेस नाउ लेट्स सी सम काइंड ऑफ अ डेफिनेशन सो दैट यू नो वी पुट थिंग्स इन पिक्चर राइट नाउ दिस समथिंग व्हिच आई हैव पिक्ड ऑफ वन इट कुड बी मेनी मोर Cyber warfare involves actions by a nation state or international organizations. That's what we have spoken of. Anyone can ah. do it. It's to attack and attempt to damage another nation's computer or information networks. Okay, through, for example, computer viruses or denial of service attacks. It 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 could be anything. right yes, so your service can be denied your computers can be denied your communications can be denied it can be hacked it can be you know information can be taken out of it now rajiv you are the thing you are after you isliye maine kaha hai ki ye military network ke liye bahut zaruri hai that it encompasses a silent monitoring of the data wo malware andar hai wo chup chap se aapke data 
क्लासिफाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन पीस टाइम में चुपचाप से निकाल रहे हैं आपको पता नहीं है क्योंकि आपका कंप्यूटर ठीक ठाक काम कर रहा है और आपने कोई अपना एंटीवायरस तगड़ा डाल के नहीं रखा है तो ये चुपचाप से इन्फॉर्मेशन लीक होता जाता है और जब लड़ाई शुरू होती है या तो वो आपका नेटवर्क को कोलेप्स कर देगा जैसे आपने कहा आपके वेपन सिस्टम ठीक से नहीं करेंगे या आपका डेटा जो आप ट्रांसफर कर रहे हो वो करप्ट कर देगा तो बैटल फील्ड में नहीं हो पाएगा सेंसर शूटर लिंक करप्ट हो जाएगा एक्चुअल जो टारगेट के आपके ग्रिड है वो गलत हो जाएंगे आप वो सेंसर कहीं और दिखा रहा है आप कहीं और मारोगे तो ये इसका असर आपको लड़ाई के मैदान में पता लगेगा तो इस तरह से भी आपको बचना पड़ता है सो दैट मींस द द द यू नो साइबर वॉरफेयर इज क्वाइट प्रिवलेंट एंड वाइड स्प्रेड यस यस राइट now this is something which uh, one of the top microsoft uh, executives has written in his book okay in a world where everything is connected everything can be disrupted disrupted yani ki jahan bhi aapne ek communication network ya connectivity aapne sthapit kiya hai wahan aap ko wo disrupt ho sakta hai yes right dusri baat ye hai ki as digitalization increases the need for cyber security increases bijli बैंक रेलवे इंटरनेट पानी गवर्नेंस सब अभी कतरे में पड़ जाएंगे तो जैसे हम डिजिटल इंडिया बनते जाएंगे तो हमारा मुश्किल और भी इस चीज पे बहुत ध्यान देना पड़ेगा देने वाली बात है ये जो साइबर वॉर है इसका खासियत यह है कि द सिविलियन इज द टारगेट एंड द मिलिट्री इज अ कोलेट्रल नॉर्मली लड़ाई में ये माना जाता है कि भाई मिलिट्री टारगेट होता है सिविलियन कैजुअलिटीज कोलेट्रल होते हैं कि भाई वहां है ये, ये है क्योंकि ये जो साइबर वॉर है पीस टाइम में चलता पीस, है पीस टाइम में, टाइम में भी चलता है और ज्यादातर पीस टाइम में चलता में ही चलता है उसमें ऑटोमेटिकली आपका मेन टारगेट जो सिविलियन नेटवर्क होता है और कोलेट्रल डैमेज मिलिट्री को होता है मिलिट्री होता है और ये जो इसका लेटेस्ट अवतार है वो है कि साइबर वॉरफेयर इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है नैरेटिव्स बनाने के लिए अब बिल्कुल जो मैंने कल किया था रात को आदि के साथ उसमें मैं कहा था कथात्मक युद्ध मैंने कथा जोड़ी बुनी जाती है तो ये साइबर और इसके साथ जुड़ जाता है आपका सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म आज तक ये सोचता कि भाई ये नेटवर्क को के साथ इंटरफेयर किया कैसे जाए रोक किया कैसे किया जाए वगैरह वगैरह आजकल उसके अंदर कहानी डाल लिया जा रहा है yes. ताकि आपके yes. पास एक स, मतलब गलत दृष्टि आए गलत दृष्टिकोण आप अपनाओ और गलत चीजों के ऊपर आप बिलीव करो और नेगेटिव ड्राइव करो ये खास करके ये जो यूक्रेन और रशिया के बीच में जो युद्ध हो रहा है ये साइबर वॉरफेयर हैज बीन यूज टू ड्राइव नेगेटिव राइट हालांकि हम इसके ऊपर आज ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं देंगे क्योंकि और आइडिया इज टू गेट टू द मिलिट्री पार्ट ऑफ स्टोरी और इसी में एक चीज बताऊंगा कि यही साइबर जहां पे आप कह रहे हैं ना सर जैसे गलत चीज फीड कर रहे हैं यही काम काफी देश कर रहे हैं जिसको वो बोल रहे हैं रशिया बोलता है उसको सेवेंथ जनरेशन वॉरफेयर वॉरफेयर जो आपके नेटवर्क के अंदर करप्टेड मैसेजेस आपको आएगा और आप गलत डिसीजन ले लोगे आपका उड़ा लूप जो है जो हम बोलते हैं ऑब्जर्व ओरिएंट डिसाइड अटैक वो करप्ट कर देगा आपका फायदा होगा और आप दुश्मन को नेटवर्क में मतलब करप्टेड मैसेज होगा एक और दूसरा टाइम डिले होगा आप सडनली सोचोगे कि मेरा दुश्मन इतने जल्दी कैसे आ गया मेरे को तो पता लगा था ये पचास किलोमीटर दूर था पर है तो अभी आपके पास करप्टेड मैसेज आया है आप रिएक्ट करने में देर कर जाओगे ये है जिसके ऊपर काम चल रहा है जो सेवेंथ जनरेशन वॉर है और मेरा अंदाजा है इसके ऊपर जितना लंबा चलेगा यूक्रेन वॉर इसके ऊपर ये देखना शुरू हो जाएगा यही नहीं इसके ऊपर प्रैक्टिस हो रहा है सब कुछ हाँ बिल्कुल सर प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस ही नहीं और ये मतलब वो अभी प्रैक्टिस करके परफेक्शन करेंगे परफेक्शन यस सो ऑल टैक्टिक्स एंड एग्जीक्यूशनरी प्रोफाइल वेट्स टू हैंडल साइबर वॉरफेयर आर बीइंग रिहर्स्ड इन द यूक्रेन रशियन वॉर राइट एंड वी आई थिंक वी आल्सो हैव टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट वन थिंग वी ऑलवेज न्यू अबाउट द चाइनीज थ्री वॉरफेयर स्ट्रेटजी यस and one part of that is cyber war 
and the driver of uh, the russia's three war uh, sorry china's three warfare strategy as far as molding public opinion is concerned and information warfare is concerned is all through cyber yes right but let's talk in our context let's come to the military domain where are we today in terms of military networks because only yeah, if you have a network bahut hi rudimentary hai we are right yeah. so still uh, moving towards that but it's still whatever networks we have is rather rudimentary mm-hmm. i would say at present okay. maybe just about second generation may we have reached and some place maybe the third generation third but generation. it is more rudimentary so it at this point of time i think we have an opportunity yes while we our military networks lag behind and digitalization lags behind the opportunity we have is that or the right silver lining is we are not vulnerable military wise we are not we will now only focus on the military aspects because that's important the opportunity we have is we are not that vulnerable to cyber warfare am i right we are not that vulnerable as much as the other uh, north northern enemy is yes because he is so, moving towards not only digitalization he is calling informationalization he is moving yes. towards intelligentization he's intelligentization towards yeah he is moving so when, towards that right so now right. we have if we have good uh, cap- if we develop our capability in that we can corrupt him so this is the thing which many of us do not understand as far as cyber warfare in a sino indian context is concerned military to military in the framework the relative lag of india's capability to go networking gives us an edge or a opportunistic edge over china in that he is going towards heavily towards and he is getting more dependent on intelligentization and informatization he is network dependent he has become more network centric he is vulnerable you are not you are not and right. it also gives us the other opportunities that as we go towards more digitization we take care of these vulnerabilities this, yes vulnerabilities. so you have the second great opportunity that we are able to make our network secure, make, more secure you, it's a it's a green field opportunity for us yes yes right so the two main things which i have we have come is that we know sino indian situation while china is very highly informatized and intelligentized and networked our relative lack of network center net centricity gives us an opportunity and yes. makes china vulnerable yes because we are still in the uh, early, in the earlier phase of development we have the opportunity to develop our networks which are cyber proof we do the right things So these two things about cyber warfare these two hard realities of cyber warfare is something i think our armed forces have to heed yes we should take lessons less which the certain has taken out about all the problems which aims has faced the solar yeah. group has faced and various others and build in the strengths within our networks to make sure that we can cater for these or anything extra that can develop in the future right so now having said that let's see what the components of a, a military network are because unless we understand the components of this military network how do you cyber proof them yes right okay so we i made a slide for this okay i mean we can add many things but generally a military network has a basic operating platform it could which could be extended to a weapon platform or a set of weapons Weapon. platform based weapons and these weapons could be you know ships it could be aircraft it could be guns it could be missiles it could be tanks anything is a web platform then you need a whole lot of data centers and cloud your own you right you need to have a set of servers intermediate who which route and handle the network you need a command and control system in any military network you need communication and data channels right these could be wireless or it could be op- fiber optic based or wired anything and then you need communication nodes 
So I think this generally covers what a military uh, network is. Yes. Right? Now, in your opinion, how do you develop this generally if you have to make it cyber proof? So the first place which I will go to is starting with the server. Because to enter any place, he has to enter that server from where he goes. In. So that means isolation. Pardon, sir? Uh, isolation and make it on yes. your own. So your server has to be secure. From yeah. there, the two things which are key are your data centers and the command and control system. Because for decision making, the commander has to make use of that big data. That data cannot be corrupted. Otherwise, his decision making becomes corrupted. So next come these two. After that comes the other two, the communication nodes and your communication and data channels. You cannot afford to uh, have these uh, compromised because the orders and messages and everything goes because your sensor shooter link is also dependent on this. Whatever target designation and other things you are going to do is also dependent on this. And after that comes your operating platforms and your weapon platforms that they should also be secure because they are also, the weapons are also getting in a, more and more digitized of how they operate together. Because they always, these days we are not looking at any weapon. And I, when I talk of a weapon system, I'm not even, I'm also including the infantry soldier as a weapon. Yeah, system. yeah, yes, yes, yes. He's yes. also getting digitized. So you, yes. these will have to be secured so that at least if, because the enemy will like to look at that if he can't corrupt the data system, then corrupt the data entering this operation and weapon platforms. At the user end, try to corrupt it. So, so these are the critical and the complete start comes from the server, which controls these things. Right. The grid of servers that you have, which is going to control this network. Yeah. And I'll add something to what you already said. कि ये है कि ये जितना हमारा military networks हैं, they need to be isolated from national grids. Yes. Right? To the extent possible, there will be some places, say, if you have a satellite link, you would be connected. But those can... Where be... you can put your firewalls. Firewalls. You can bridge it out. Yes. Right? And you can have yes. drawdown bridges. Like inter-service भी जाते हैं. Like every service yeah. will have that. Yeah, you that need I... to have your firewalls at every level. So every that level. It... Yeah. Something and gets you, corrupted, the others don't others get corrupted. don't get corrupted. So you have to zone them out and all. These yes. are te standard technical procedures, which yes. I will, let's not, uh, but I'm sure people who are experts in this and, you know, who are real cyber experts will know how to configure this. But for the common man, for the common military guy who's going to handle all these things, you know, not from, from a non-technical point of view, and a tactical point of view, this is what the whole story is, that these network has to be largely isolated. Isolated. The second thing is the hardware in this has to be your own to the extent possible. Right? And then, of course, the software part of it, whatever programs you put into it, has to be your own. That means you're talking of a lot of Atmanir Bharta. Yes. And even that if you're permitting the use of your pen drives that has to be separate and not the common ones which are used outside because that the virus can come through malware can come yes. through that also yeah so they we have to understand that the the way forward why am i saying atmanir bharta because you have the opportunity to be so if you yes. didn't have the opportunity and you, you were say very well networked by now that choice of Atmanir Bharta probably would not have been there. Okay. Right. Now, what are the essentials of a, you know, a secure network? If that is a network, so what is this essentials? You need processor and other hardware. Okay. Good. You need semiconductors. Other okay. hardware, matlab, to explain to the others, it is that motherboard. Motherboard. The processor is the heart of that heart, motherboard. The motherboard. processor and is very have, important. Yeah, you'll have you'll need other small processors, microprocessors. Haan, so, and the motherboard is cuper ye hai. Ye hai. Ye aapka hona chahi. Hona chahi. Then you need semiconductors of your own. Right? You can't have Chinese semiconductors in your systems. Yes. Right? Yes. You, because that might fellow might have programmed that in a manner that you cannot it's a Then you need software capability. 
your capability to write your own software as per your requirements. Okay. Then you need cloud and data storage, which is which we spoke of. Yes. Whether it's a server day, it's server based or otherwise, it's a different story. But wherever you have your cloud is not something cloud like you see in the sky. I mean, it actually a cloud. For, I mean, I will. We will talk about what a cloud center is because I think many of our people don't understand it's, what a cloud center a is. Open access to whatever you have stored. It's a set of servers. Just the under our data, hai, data, which is what a cloud is. Cloud means that it gives rain, so everyone gives rain. That is the way. If your data is there, you can access it. Access it. So, 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 so, yeast ke baare mein hum ek aur din. What is a cloud? We will speak and what are the complexities of a cloud? Why? How do we set it up? We'll talk because I think Separate. the time has come when we have to start thinking of our own cloud. Yes. Especially in the military. Yes. Okay. Now, so when you need... If we say that, then we have our cloud. Cloud. Why should I depend on Amazon? Why should I depend on Amazon? Yes, I agree with you. Okay. Then, when you... Look, want to do a set of you know secure network. You need startups to make these networks. You need startups to you know come into the whole thing and make sure your networks are uh, secure. Why the thing is that you use startups to get greenfield technology in and greenfield hardware and software into the whole system. Okay, now to ensure that your whole thing comes in, you need finance, and if the government cannot give finance. I think we it's time we need we use a venture capitalism venture. so that you get money into the system right and of course you need ai Good. today with the kind of data which is flowing hame ai ki khas zarurat hai right uh iske upar aapka koi rai hai aur nahi isme ek hai sir aage wo future ke liye abhi to hum normal computer ki baat karte hain जो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इवॉल्व हो रहा है वो क्वांटम कंप्यूटर क्वांटम कंप्यूटर बाद में बात करेंगे बाद में अलग बात करेंगे सिक्योरिटी और बढ़ाता है और आपके नॉर्मल कंप्यूटर के सिक्योरिटी को आपके लिए कितना दिक्कत पेश करेगा करेक्ट पर जिस स्तर में हैं हम इंडियन में ये बहुत जरूरी बहुत जरूरी है एंड आई वांट टू मेक अ स्टेटमेंट हियर यू डोंट नीड द लेटेस्ट जनरेशन you need one generation old or even two generation old systems, but you need reliable systems and your own systems. You can work a little late or you can have a little slower speed in your entire setup. It is more important for our systems to be reliable and cyber proof than fast and weak. Especially अभी हम military का बोल रहे हैं यही जो आपके society के लिए critical networks है inner power का bank का financial का आपके बिजली का एक fly air आपके air का जो network है ये इस तरह से जो critical networks हैं उसमें भी इसी तरह से आपको देखना है जरूरी नहीं है कि जो बाजार में latest है वो लेके आए आप अपना जितना develop कर सकते हैं वो लेके आप लगा दें आपका सिस्टम बेहतर चलेगा यस आई एग्री विद यू और okay. उसको बिल्ड अप करते जाए जैसे सिंपल चीज में बताता हूं सर पहले मेरे पास अपना ब्रांडेड कंप्यूटर था उतना अपग्रेड करना है नया खरीदो फिर आई वेंट इन फॉर ए मेड कंप्यूटर अपने साइबर के दोस्त के साथ अब हर बार जब कुछ करना होता है उनके थ्रू मैं अपना मदरबोर्ड को अपडेट अपग्रेड कर देता हूं हार्ड डिस्क अपग्रेड कर देता हूं और मेरा सिस्टम अभी लेटेस्ट चल रहा है सब कुछ चलता है yeah. तो मतलब यही है कि अपना बनाएं और उसको अपग्रेड करते चले जाएं जरूरत right. के मुताबिक ओके आई थिंक दैट्स अ ग्रेट अप्रोच दैट यू नीड टू डू एवरीथिंग ऑन योर ओन ऑन योर राइट एंड इट इज फिजिबल टू डू ऑन योर ओन दैट इज व्हाट आई वांट टू पुट अक्रॉस टुडे राइट दिस इज माय एक्सपीरियंस राइट एंड आई वांट टू पुट अक्रॉस दिस टू एवरीवन व्हाई हाउ इट कैन बी डन Right, you know, a year or year and a half back, there was a lot of anti-China sentiment. Right, at that time, I had written an article in the first post. How do you get strategic autonomy in this field? In this field, 
yeah it's there this is the heading of that article it's there on my uh, website Web. and i found in this you need four issues to make your own networks I, right first is semiconductors you need your own semiconductors because that is the fundamental thing on then you need your own indigenous processes you don't you shouldn't be depending on intel or you know Bilkul. any other amd or you know that kind of set Uh, processors yeah you should need to your have your own then you need a software boom which is on in our industry the ability to write software which is where is our strength strength you have this capability and then you need a startup ecosystem to make things for you because when you look at a network there are so many components of a network no one single agency can make all these yes. things and if you have a good startup ecosystem you will get everything right and these are the four things which i identified right and i said this okay now let me see related to what is our actual capability on this in india look in india we have the semiconductor laboratory in chandigarh okay they make semiconductors incidentally par ye hai ki ye purane semiconductors hai they are not the they are not the yeah but can you fit use these in your uh, you know new systems which will come in you can okay. do you can you upgrade this uh, laboratory you can do you have the capability to do so yes it's only a fab you invest in it if you don't have the technical capability do collaboration but you have already a facility of your own over and above this through the pli scheme the we know that we are in the edge of a software boom the government is prepared to invest money to make uh, the semiconductors why should semiconductors be made only for apple phones in india the semiconductors we, should be made, be for, made for us also us also we, also we should do the deal with that uh, uh, dutch company asml oh, msml for placing what the lithograph printing machines are required for our semiconductors let us place it here And, and you, they will not hesitate to give because you're not asking for the latest you're asking one that. generation old even if intel has to come let intel come and set up a thing for us where the oversight of the whole story is with us with us okay and it's more, all the more important the opportunity is now because there's a glut in semiconductors in the world yes beche nahi ja rahe sabke paas stocks pade hain bik nahi raha अब वो आके करेंगे अगर ये मौका है ये राइट आज के दिन ओके दे हैव दिस फैब फैसिलिटी यू ऑलरेडी हैव ऑफ कोर्स इट्स एट इंच थिंग बट दैट्स ओके आई डोंट नीड द लेटेस्ट सेमीकंडक्टर्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ माय सिस्टम्स मिलिट्री सिस्टम्स ओके सो यू हैव दिस फैसिलिटी सो वन पार्ट सेमीकंडक्टर यू हैव उस पे तो फर्दर सब्सटेंशिएट व्हाट यू से सर i need i don't need the latest which will be very sensitive correct i need something which will be ruggedized Ra- yeah i agree which is ruggedized and, which can tried and tried and tested tried and tested and which can withstand all the shocks and whatever is you are going to get the dust the everything in the battle field needs I to be ruggedized i agree ruggedized. with you completely right the next thing is processes okay now i'll give you a little story before you know i take you into this thing about processes you know sometime back you would also um, uh, remember this when you were in mo directorate you know there's a thing that wherever there's a chinese item yes you cannot put it in any of our systems any of our systems. okay now it came to a point that one of our weapon systems was computerized it had its own intelligence and all that and we were using intel processors intel processor international processors but they were made in china made in china. so we couldn't induct that system we had to you know do a lot of things okay now most of the processor systems in the world you know um, any uh, processor the fabs and the uh, facilities are in china okay you can't do it in, uh, so most of these are now denied to you for your military 
so why don't you make your own processors yes then people will say so how where do you make processors in india and it is here this, that's why I, i thought let me put this across to you you know now in iit under the present director of iit dr kamakoti there is a processes which are, he's been making for the past 10 years it's called the shakti processes okay and there are various grades of processes some are being some are ready for deployment some are in the pipeline and some will come ahead ahead but they are all progressing well okay now what are these the, this is the it's an open source processor and right? it is that's what i have written there the shakti processors are open source processors it's in made by the rice group the rice group is uh, uh, in in our computer science department it can make uh, processors for almost all systems that army needs okay okay now there is a base class of processors e c and i basically e c i and i means that you can have you can use them on your tabs you can use them on your mobiles you can use them on you know uh, desktops for light work in fact if you take these processes and fit them into a military environment 70% of your hardware requirements are met wow because you don't need more than th- this class of processors and this speed of processors see you know mo- uh, you're not using an apple phone during battle and you don't have don't need these kind of functionalities you need simple functionalities you don't need complicated functionalities correct this e c and i class basically right up to say even to uh, div headquarter terminals you will be able to so that means if you have your own semiconductors and if you have your own processors the hardware requirements of 70% of the army can be met i'm making a big statement okay i'm making a big statement this is something which the army should immediately start looking at and yeah dealing in fact with two years back there was a study group in fact which recommended a lot of things to the mod i don't know what happened to that but my sense is why am i bringing this cat out of the bag people people should understand yes because not okay. only the army the dpp should also start looking at it and give it to the various dpsqs and ofbs who are making these things for the in army. fact some of these the platforms on which they made is in dell okay it is not england no oh, apna hi hai apna hi hai and some of these systems are already deployed in bark oh wow if bark can accept these processors why can't i don't see the reason why indian army and air force and navy doesn't lap them up why do you have to go to intel because it gives you a faster processor it's it sounds Or, nice you get a free trip to go there oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> हाँ घर में भी मिल जाएगा आपको एक पसंद बट यू गेट सिक्योरिटी आत्मनिर्भरता एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी एंड एब्सोल्यूट डिपेंडेंसी वैल्यू फॉर मनी ओके यू डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड यू कैन डू इट इन हाउस बिल्कुल एवरीथिंग इज व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ आर आर ओके राइट this next class of processors m s and h class are server grade processors are what sir server grade okay okay then to so you step back from the battle zone and then you have these All available grade. to create your clouds and everything yeah everything your data communication some of these pro- i i i'm not exactly telling you at what stage these are the first three are ready for deployment Okay. these would be ready maybe in a year or so because a certain amount of customization needs to take place based on your requirement ha oh, bilkul sir at the core and command level jo chahiye aapko ye you have you have this and the next generation so they are doing the experimental process of the next generation already in work now the point is how many people know this nobody i'm hearing it for the first time 
Okay. Despite no. having sat on that chair in MO for three years, which looks at these things, I haven't known about this. Right. And someone and from MO from last 10 years means just before I joined MO, he has already started it, and I don't know. Yeah. No, today you have these processes sitting. And if anyone from the Army, Navy, and Air Force wants these, wants to get onto this and wants to indigenize, get on to the director of IIT. Don't come to me also. Just give him a call and he'll yes. be more than happy to respond to you. I'm, I'm not spoken to him, but I'm sure he'll do it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Now I'll give you an example. You know, A triple CS system. Ah, sir. Okay. Uh, a triple CS system was made by, you know, old systems, heavy, soft, drug, uh, you know, hardware. Yes. The last generation. And uh, I would say know, last to last to last generation. Last generation. The software is also old. You can't upgrade it. The weapon systems have changed from there. Yes. Okay. But the beauty is you have the full architecture. Now you take these processes, upgrade which can it. be done. Why I'm saying is from IIT, we did uh, give a proposal. We did give a proposal, but I didn't hear anything back. So I'm sure now with this, hopefully people will hear back, uh, come back. And we have the capacity to handle the software of various gun systems which are coming in. Like the K9 Vajra, the Pinaka, all these systems are computerized systems. Now with these computerized systems, the entire system, electronics, software, hardware, everything, has been configured in by LNT. So you have indigenous capability or Tata's. Yes. Or Tata's. Right? And Tata's and you know the works. And through DRDO, mind you. It, okay. So you have this capability. Now you have that capability for the latest weapon systems. You have the hardware and the software capability of uh, this thing. Why don't we go to ACCS 2.0? Bilkul. Your own. And you once you do, once you configure that, then you can get to your OIS and say IDSS and you know the rest yes. of the things. Are Everything else can get integrated. Also. Integrated. Are we doing it? Are we thinking? For those of thinking us who don't yes. know. Thinking, yes. But how to do it? No. Then we don't know. And this is what we are now trying to do. Yes. This is the way forward. Okay. Maybe I am wrong in what I am saying to some extent, but not more than 10%. 90% I am sure it can be done. I give you a simple example that uh, if as a logistician, to look at it from a logistician point of view, you are always interested to know what has gone where and how much has been received where. The You can have your homegrown RFID and IFF also placed now. Yes, yes. On this and you can track... Now, when I was the deputy in the mountain division, looking after the logistics, we used to look at uh, monsoon stocking. Now, the moment the convoys used to get into the valleys, there was no communication. You can't uh, get any communication. You never got to know. So what we did was we used to have a lot of these uh, Motorola handsets and uh, base stations. We plotted with the signals and placed those uh, way station, base stations on various heights, which gives the range. And all the convoy commanders and the drivers were given yeah. these Motorola yeah. handsets. And they they pressed up. You were everywhere. No, yep. this is Motorola. Now you can build, build in something like this inside the vehicle itself. Now I'll, we'll come to that. How who'll do it? So let me let us uh, talk of that. Bilkul, you know, for to sorry. Yeah. Now to do all this, like you said, for all these innovatory, innovative ideas which you talk spoken of, we have limited bandwidth in the army. We can think, but someone has to do, okay. and someone has to do the technology. And for that, we have the best startup ecosystem in India, in Chennai. Yeah. You know, when prime the prime minister came three years back to IIT Research Park, he said, "Look." There is no other place like this in Asia that I've seen. Okay. The most vibrant startup ecosystem. Why are we not using it? 
must must okay because just I to give you an idea here also the civil military fusion is not just yeah. bureaucracy and the military it's these it people here. also yes. and if you think the software research park is small thing this is the building and with the aerial view it's a 10 story four thing yeah there are about over 200 to 300 startups there in fact yesterday the whole day i spent there you know talking of evs you know whole ideas right i, I had there's a startup which makes some fantastic things for medical technology which i'll talk of later we we will discuss is this right and it will be fantastic for our uh, forward, uh, forward you know especially in Siachen and you know uh, high altitude all areas uh, and all that. remote areas where people anyway. are there far away from the base yeah and it takes time you don't have immediate doctor support available what we yeah. spoke of is excellent so we'll i'll put this across because the technologies are there waiting to be yeah. tapped in such places if the idea is to go reach and take our problem in the army is the story between mountain and the muhammad who <laughs> <laughs> will come to whom? Who <laughs> will come to whom? Okay. Right. The, the pity is that if the army doesn't go to these places, someone else is coming and taking it. Yes. That guy, that startup chap there is not bereft of orders. Okay. If he fails with his expertise in whatever he has done, Microsoft yeah. will take him. Bilkul. I've personally experienced this. Anyway, I, when I say Microsoft, it could be Amazon, Microsoft, Google, you know, anyone. Okay. Now, this is another view of the research park. It's, it's a huge one. Right? Okay. Now, the next po point which I wanted to discuss with you, Rajiv, is this. You know, when you say cyber security, there are two aspects to cyber security. One is physical security of your network, putting firewalls, it does that all that then there's a soft aspect to cyber security okay the ethical hackers ethical hackers now the point is that unless you know how to hack you can't prevent hacking and you got to keep up to date of the up, new up, methods new of methods hacking of hacking and, and that has to be an academic process yes in fact, I had suggested this to the army, uh, in fact, to the armed forces some time back. For whatever reason, at that point, it didn't find traction. But I think we have to relook at it. Is it there a case? Specialization in these streams are very necessary. Necessary. Because so ethical there... hackers also go a long way in protecting your own system, your where ethically they hack into it and tell you the loopholes. Loopholes. Cover. And there for you to plug. Yes. Right. So you need a MTech program. I mean, I've spoken to a lot of people who are good at this uh, in cyber security or cyber experts. Okay. They say, unless you have an MTech program, that MTech program can be run at about 10, 12 places because for the size of our country, you need that kind of, uh, you know, mass. So okay. We need to learn yeah. from our northern neighbors. 2002, yes. three is when Hu Jintao felt the need for it, brought in two lakh graduates and trained them on this, on both the streams. This is what we are trying. Which is what I, we need to do. And this is what we are trying. This is the message I'm, we are trying to give to yes, our and system. And we should learn from the other country who looks upon us as a partner in the Indo-Pacific US. Who's doing Army the itself thing? has a cyber command and Come it has on. a strategic cyber command. China has so, made bana diya hai, SFF, SSF, which is the, so the strategic yeah. command for this. So the point what we are trying to put across, both of us, I mean, that, that's the crux which has, has come out. That you need to develop your own capabilities and you have the capabilities. Yes, you tap the capability that is available. Don't be shy of it and get your people trained on it. Yeah. And don't worry. You might be working with one generation old system. That is good enough for the armed forces today. You don't need the latest. You need the most reliable, rugged and stable systems to go. go there. Not 
this the main message that is coming organization i feel is very very important because if there is a near blast of an rt shell uske shake mein agar kaam karna band kar diya to kya karoge that's the end of the story that's right? the end of the story the latest system will stop working yeah and we feel that you need to have a vision for this you need mm-hmm. that vision has to be backed by policy you need to have the will to do this will. yes which is many times i find it founded lacking and you and need the patience it is not just it. here i would add is not just the political will it is also the will of the establishment which is going to use it i that's what i'm referring to yes sir if you go if the army wants to have a cyber proof system it will get it it will get it okay that's the will with the army navy or the air force you know whichever way should have and we need to have patience patience yes. invariable, takes a uh, invariably the requirement is day before yesterday <laughs> <laughs> and the guy in uniform is in such a tearing hurry that he wants to finish it within his tenure which he can't he wants to do a thing so that he can show it that during my tenure uh, i did was mere tenure mein ho gaya ye kaam maine ye karwa di ha so it has to be a systemic approach and a long term approach yes it is like planting i would say in simple terms planting a mango tree mango tree somebody will Great. plant it, but the, the yeah, fruit your children will your children yes. will get the fruit yes. don't be in a hurry right i think we've come to the we traversed the fair distance in cyber warfare uh, today we've been able to put across to whoever is seeing this and i hope the serving people see this yes this is basically for those who are in chair to understand that everything is feasible here right and you just have to put it together to own your system you own the program and you'll own the system right take it from both of us rajiv has handled a lot of things in the mo i've handled a lot of things for the atrpc s and today both of us are in that institution which is got the is a repository of all this information it's my open offer that you want anything if we have both of us can help you we will be more than happy to help you your last view rajiv so yes sir, because basics we have explained but the most important part is the explanation that everything is feasible in house or i would say most of it is feasible in house mm-hmm. it is not only the software hardware but the other software part also which is the human wear training the human wear feasibility is also there there is the open offer grab it with both arms and you will travel the path of we will all travel the path of atmanirbharta together why am we uh, why are we doing this why have i started this uh, you know whole story why is rajiv and i we brainstormed it and both of us are coming forward is that our generation couldn't do it the current generation can do it for the next generation yes right that's the only thing that i i, I, I this our uh, thing we want to put across and uh, till the next uh, episode thanks a lot and i think rajiv in the next episode will take on battlefield energy what's your view yes very important sir. right we very, somehow very have very, very important. Important. and we have to very somehow important. we have to somehow tell the army to get rid of all its kerosene tins yes yes especially in relationship when i used to be ams and nadan command used to be tearing the hair in the ops room with the ngoel looking at how much of kerosene has gone because the next before the next day morning both of us had to go and brief the army commander what has happened why didn't it go what have we done how will it go and it is amazing and similar thing when i went as deputy into the mountain division for the monsoon stocking monsoon stocking means i had also to take the kerosene to cater for the winter yeah i agree i know kerosene coal and here was another thing about movement of uh various other things that were required for the energy requirement for their oil and oh, yeah, this 
we'll talk about the whole thing big issue yeah and this is what they need to track where is mm-hmm. it stuck we have to create that grid with motorola base stations yeah. and handsets yeah. to know exactly where it is because evening briefing i had to mm-hmm. give it to the uh, B, uh, brig adam that what has happened yeah i agree with you How completely i have i've gone through this thing to resolve that and give options of how it can be resolved it will i am sure it will be a big 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 uh, relief to the especially Everyone. to the logisticians no it's not only logisticians you look at the last guy who's carrying yes. a, uh, you know 20 you always have these bukhari fires and you keep yeah, hearing of an incident so many things yes. right and i I, I feel for it because, like you said, I was also the Colonel Adam of you know the Trishul Division, completely in high altitude, so I know the whole thing. I mean, I experienced the whole thing. So we'll leave it at that. And uh, I do hope uh, our viewers have found this uh, whole story uh, interesting. If you like our channel, up, Kripya, subscribe, kare. Or you know, uh, that's all. All you have to do is subscribe and watch. Uh, thank you and jai hind jai yes.